Of the millions and billions of stars in the universe, one of the least significant planets in our own stellar system is this one, our Earth. It is not only a small planet, but very young. There are any number of older ones. How did it begin, this young Earth? Is there life out there? Many people, responsible scientists, in and out of our government, agree to the possibility. We have sent a message, a calling card, into space. These are official NASA photographs of what we must term UFOs. NASA has investigated thoroughly and checked what these objects might have been. There has never been a completely accepted explanation. This from the Apollo 11 flight to the moon in 1969. From the Mercury Project, Atlas 7. From Gemini in 1966. Alien beings are visiting the Earth in extraterrestrial spacecraft. which change man's conception of himself and his universe come into acceptance not because their opponents come to believe in them but because their opponents die and a new generation grows up that is accustomed to them planets that can support life then there are hundreds of billions of life supporting planets in the universe Within 55 light years of our own solar system, there are thousands of stars. UFOs are someone else's spacecraft. Completes the job that Copernicus started in discovering that the Earth was not the center of the universe. Alien fans and skeptics alike were pretty shocked when just a few months ago the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, said that they believed in aliens. Well, actually, they said they were going to be investigating unidentified flying objects, but close enough. While some people did believe that this was NASA saying, hey, we believe in aliens, it was actually them announcing they were going to launch a study into UAPs, or Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, because I guess they're just too good to say UFO. The scientist coordinating the study said, over the decades NASA has answered the call to tackle some of the most perplexing mysteries we know of, and this is no different. In the report they said that a good chunk of confirmed unidentified objects seem to show evidence that they were made using advanced technology that humans just don't have yet. Number 9. Injuries A Freedom of Information Act request caused 1,500 pages of UFO reports and evidence to be declassified and leaked to the public. And what the pages contained was pretty shocking for those who read it. A percentage of the pages included information of how people who reported seeing UFOs and aliens had been legitimately physically affected real physical evidence that something unexplained had happened to them. Some of the reports included things like burns, which could have been caused by the jets of a UFO or potential face-to-face -face alien interference. Bafflingly, they also confirmed that women who had come into contact with aliens shortly fell mysteriously pregnant after the event, with no explanation as to why they were suddenly with child. Yes, we all know by now how mommy and daddy make babies, but that apparently wasn't a factor in the cases, alien babies potentially on the way. Number 8. FLIR Alongside these 1500 documents, three separate videos were released that appeared to show UFOs being spotted 
by the United States military, so let's take a look. The first is titled FLIR and was originally filmed back in 2004 when the USS Nimitz was flying off the coast of Southern California. There had apparently already been an unidentified aircraft in the area for up to a week before the video was filmed. Off the coast, they spotted a large oval shaped object, estimating it to be about 40 feet long and white in color. Four people on the craft saw the object for a running total of about five minutes, although the video is only just over a minute. They were able to track it using their advanced infrared camera and due to the object's shape, they nicknamed it the Tic Tac. All these videos to this day have no real explanation for what the UFOs actually were. Number seven, Gimbal. Next up on the list we have the video titled Gimbal, which was leaked alongside the last one I just talked about. This one's different because we can hear the people in the jet reacting to what they're seeing. They use a similar infrared camera and follow the object that was flying over the east coast. At first they comment that it might be some kind of drone, but then note that it is fighting against incredibly strong winds and appearing to not be affected by it at all. They even comment that there are other unidentified identified crafts in the area, but we don't actually see them as it's locked onto the target. What's interesting about this one, as the people in the video point out, is that it moves in an incredibly strange fashion, appearing to rotate and move around despite the heavy winds it's apparently fighting against. My favorite part of this is that there's one guy calmly stating facts about it while the other cusses and yells in excitement. Is that a f***ing drone dude? Number 6. Go Fast the third and final leaked video is probably the best of the bunch, as the video starts before they have managed to lock onto the target and you can see it moving. The video is pretty correctly titled Go Fast because this thing is moving incredibly fast, like definitely faster than anything else that could have been an easy explanation. It's zipping over the top of the water as they try to get their camera to lock onto it, and when they finally do they start cheering because of just how difficult it was due to how fast the object was moving. Their comments are a mix of excitement and confusion in regards to what they've managed to find, saying look at that thing fly while also going what the f is that thing? People often like to write off UFOs as some sort of secret military practice vessels or training project, so what can it be when the military itself doesn't know what they saw? Number 5. Pentagon Report In May of this year, the Pentagon appeared on a panel where they discussed UFOs, and they revealed just how much information they have about the situation. They said that there are around 400 separate reports of unidentified flying objects coming from military personnel. So while we do have the three leaked videos, there are likely even more locked up in a safe somewhere that offer convincing evidence of the existence of aliens. The deputy director of naval intelligence said, We've seen an increasing number of unauthorized and or unidentified aircraft or objects, and military control training areas and training ranges and other designated airspace. Reports of sightings are frequent and continuous. Well, it definitely sounds Sounds like he's trying to sweep it under the rug as someone just like flying a drone illegally onto a military base or something. I think it's safe to say the military have the resources to know if it were something as simple as that. So their confusion and uncertainty makes it seem more and more like aliens are among us. Number 4. Live Stream In 2016, an incident occurred during NASA's live feed from a camera mounted on the International Space Station that pointed towards the Earth. You can see the Earth's curve and one viewer noticed that for a short moment, a massive bright object can be seen falling towards the planet. But as quickly as it comes, it's gone as the live feed conveniently cuts out and experiences technical difficulties. The video was posted to YouTube and people immediately started theorizing that NASA had intentionally cut the live feed at this moment to cover up the fact that this bright shape was a UFO, or at least something alien in origin. Many people noted how suspicious this was and started calling out NASA for their actions, while other people were saying that it was just a meteor or some hunk of space junk. A spokesperson for NASA said that the cameras are controlled automatically and it had simply passed out of range causing the video to be cut off, but that's just what they want you to think. Number 3. Alien Junk 
an astrophysicist from Harvard wrote a book that was titled Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth. And it was about how he believed that an object that passed through the solar system in 2017 was actually a piece of alien technology, bringing forward the theory that NASA is actually just ignoring real evidence of alien existence because they're just brushing it off as some random space junk. Whether they believe it really is space junk or they're just trying to make us think that that's what it is. The object was long and not shaped like any known comet we've ever seen before. It also apparently accelerated away from the sun and he believes it ended up in our solar system accidentally thanks to aliens. Saying, a buoy, a grid of pods for communication, other intelligent living organisms, defunct technology or discarded technological trash. These are all plausible explanations. Number two, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin was one of a handful of astronauts who were aboard the Apollo 11, the first space flight that put humans on the moon with one small step for man. During their journey, however, they saw more than just the moon. Apparently, they may have seen a UFO. They reported seeing large objects that appeared to follow alongside them. It was confirmed not to be the upper stage of the rocket that would have been detached, as this was 6,000 miles away from them at the time. The event was kept under wraps and nobody talked about it until it was brought up years later, sweeping it under the rug as simply a panel that had disconnected from the ship. But again, that's just what they want you to think. The claims coming from a senior NASA scientist who said he had just called up Buzz on the phone and he had agreed. Did you really talk to him on the phone, senior NASA scientist? Did you really? Number one, ISS report. All right, this one's not actually NASA because it actually comes from a Russian astronaut aboard the International Space Station and I'm just gonna count it because it's a pretty cool video. He was on board the ISS using his camera to record the southern lights, which are the same as the northern lights but in the south. It's a time lapse recording and for a brief moment you can see a line of large bright lights moving across the sky. In the tweet the astronaut posted, he referred to them as space guests saying that while it was only a few seconds in the time lapse, it was actually around 52 seconds in real time. Some people suggest that it may have been some kind of meteor or satellite, but I'm actually a licensed professional and I say that it was aliens. And is Saint Wolfgang and the Devil. Famously painted by Michael Patcher during the 15th century, Saint Wolfgang and the Devil is said to be based around a legend of Saint Wolfgang, the Bishop of Regensburg during the 10th century. As the legend goes, Saint Wolfgang saw a church within his heart and vowed to build it. One day he struck an axe to the ground in the place where it was to be built, but after having trouble finding someone to help him, he managed to enlist and trick the devil into building the church for him. There's a lot more to it but that's essentially the gist. However, nowadays, internet sleuths who come across this famous painting have been quick to point out that the creature seen in it looks less like the devil, but more like a creepy winged alien. And I mean, part of me does get it. Like, just take a second to look at the creature. It's literally depicted as a scaly green monster with a second face on his butt, which is unlike any depiction of the devil I have yet to come across. So could it have been an alien? Your guess is as good as mine. Coming in at number 9, Rock Drawings in Valcamonica. First described in 1909 by geographer Walter Lang, these petroglyphs, or rock drawings, are believed to date back to roughly 10,000 BC. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that rock drawings had been used in the case for alien contact. Take the one Gina, for example. They have on more than one occasion been used as proof of ancient alien contact, but these rock drawings found in Italy are in particular a little extra suspicious. Many believe that they look like two people in strange helmets, yielding unidentifiable weapons, which to be fair, does sound pretty alien-like. And between the humanoid figures dressed in protective suits and the sheer amount of these that exist in the area, I wouldn't totally rule out some alien hands in the pie. Like, just look at these drawings. I have to admit, they do look like ancient astronauts, a concept that would not have existed back then, unless they were depicting some strange alien race visiting them from the sky. 
Coming in at number 8, Israel, put your hope in the Lord. Dating back to the 1600s, this painting shows a house surrounded by thunderclouds with a strange gray disc hovering over the house with what appears to be smoke or maybe even fire coming out of the top. And I mean, it's hard to not get the UFO claims on this one. Some who wish to disprove the alien spaceship theory have pointed out it's probably meant to represent God, wielding a shield, hence the gray circle coming down from the sky. And to be fair, I can see that being true. But I can also see this being a spaceship, cause I mean, well, look at it. Also, the UFO is like right in the prime time abducting setting, thunderous storms, limited visibility, over a house, blaming God for the disappearance. I mean, it's got all the pieces. The only question is, which one is true? Coming in at number 7, Strange Silver Man. Dating back to 700 BC, when it was first discovered in the frosty Altai region where the Russian and Chinese borders meet, archaeologists first believed it would have belonged to the Scythian people, a notoriously aggressive tribe with a reputation that preceded them in their time. Apparently the warriors were well known for killing their enemies and drinking their blood out of a bowl fashioned from their skull. So yeah, some scary folks. However, if it was an artifact from then, what was it meant to represent? Once the picture got out to the public, many people were saying that this mysterious figure was more like a spooky spacesuit wearing alien than anything else. Begging the question, was it made by aliens or made by the Scythians for the aliens? I guess we won't ever know for sure unless aliens come down again and tell us for themselves. Coming in at number 6, the Svetoshoveli Cathedral Fresco from the 1600s. While there are lots of suspicious beams of light in old historical paintings, that isn't the only thing that has made people uneasy over the years. This 17th century painting depicting the crucifixion of Jesus also comes with some questionably alien looking blobs. While at first you are likely to just notice Jesus on the cross right smack in the middle, if you take a second to glance on either side of him, you may notice some oddly shaped blobs in the corners. While art historians explain that these are meant to represent angels watching the event, or potentially even the moon and sun, which was also common at the time. While art historians explain that these are meant to represent angels watching the event or potentially the moon and sun, which was also common at the time. However, lots of alien believers out there have a different theory, that they are UFOs. Now, if you ask me, they look a little bit more like jellyfish than anything else, but I do see the UFO resemblance. Now, to be fair, some believers of the conspiracy have also suggested it could be a mix of both. Maybe aliens came down from the sky, but people just assumed they were angels since well, what else would have been coming down from the sky? If only we could travel back in time to see what was really there. Coming in at number 5, the Tomb of Pakal. Ruler of the Mayan city in Palenque, the Tomb of Pakal is considered one of the most important archaeological discoveries. The tomb itself was found in the Temple of Inscriptions, but it's the story that appears to be dictated on the lid of the tomb that has captured the attention of ufologists across the globe. Said to communicate how Pakal's soul is going to make its way back to the stars from where he originally came, to undertake this journey it's said he will use the monster of the sun, or what some nowadays might call a spaceship. Now if you look at how Pakal is seated, it is strangely similar to how an astronaut sits while preparing for takeoff. And if you look closely, it does appear that there is something attached to his nose. Some say that it could be an air supply of some sort, plus at the bottom of the alleged aircraft, some argue that that the waves appear to be fire and smoke, just like a modern day rocket. I mean, there are definitely some parts I can understand, but art is often open to interpretation, so it's hard to say what could be a literal depiction of a rocket and what could have just been some noodling around. But many still believe it is just too specific to be a happy accident. Coming in at number 4, the Lolodov Plate. First found near the end of World War II in Nepal by Polish professor Sergei Lolodov, unlike most artifacts, this piece wasn't uncovered but rather 
purchased. Immediately, he knew something was different about this piece. It appeared to date back to roughly 7000 BC and was covered in mysterious, seemingly extraterrestrial depictions. Most obviously, the humanoid creature in the middle that bears a striking resemblance to the grey alien species. But also, the surrounding creatures and most importantly, how close the disc itself resembles an alien UFO. Next, he showed it to a fellow professor, Robin Evans, who studied ethnology and knowing that there was something very special about this piece, wanted to know more. So in 1947, Robin Evans organized an expedition to Tibet. Once there, he befriended the locals and learned the language so that he could interview the religious leader, Lurgan La, to find out more about where this strange disc had come from. According to the leader, the disc was made by the Zopa people, who crash landed in the area around 1014 CE and happily lived there for thousands of years. These people explained that they had come from a planet in the Sirius star system and were unable to return home as they had broken their ship when landing. So, what do you think? Could the disc have been a real creation made by aliens that crash landed in Tibet thousands of years ago? Coming in at number 3, The Baptism of Christ from 1710. One of the most common depictions that often point towards proof of alien life in historical art is a strange beam of light. And while the usual excuse is that it's meant to be a star, an angel, or a depiction of the Holy Ghost, I have to admit this painting does seem a little suspicious. As you can see, at the top of the painting, created by Art de Gelder, there is a pretty clear disc-shaped object that appears to be shining four bright beams of light down on John the Baptist and Jesus, which is pretty much textbook definition for any alien UFO ever. As far as conspiracy theorists are concerned, this should be considered undoubted proof that aliens came down to Earth. And I will admit, it's one of the more convincing ones I have seen, because I mean, to their credit, it really does look like a spaceship. If only we could just ask the painter. That would make everything easier. Coming in at number 2, The Annunciation with Saint Amedeus in 1486. Another day, another strange beam of light shooting down from the sky in a 15th century painting. This gorgeous piece, painted by the Italian artist Carlo Crivelli, is said to be designed to celebrate the announcement by the angel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary, telling her that she would become the mother of Jesus. But if you look closely, in the top left hand side of this painting is a peculiar Peculiar disc that almost looks as if it's on fire, shooting a beam of light through the sky right into the head of the Virgin Mary. Plus, if you look really closely, there is another kind of halo type figure over her head with what looks like a small bird flying towards her. Now, to be fair, this painting doesn't come without a scholarly explanation. The flying saucer in the sky is supposed to represent the Holy Spirit, while the beam of light is meant to be Mary receiving Jesus into her womb from the Spirit. But that doesn't mean that everyone is on board with this explanation. I mean, could it be a religious allegory? Sure. But could it also be a spookily accurate depiction of an alien spaceship hiding in plain sight? I don't know, you tell me. And last up today in our number one spot, the Uroboon. The Uroboon refers to a mysterious, unknown object that was allegedly found drifting off the coast of eastern Japan. According to legend, an attractive young woman arrived at the local beach on February 22, 1803. First discovered by some fishermen, they confiscated the ship before they brought her inland for questioning. But strangely, the woman was unable to speak Japanese and was very different from anyone else they had ever seen. Eventually, they walked her back to the ocean, returned her vessel back and she left, never to be seen again. Now, of course, when this object was seen, many painters began drawing the strange sight, and this object was also depicted in three separate texts. So, to this day, many believe that the object in question was a UFO coming down to Earth. Said to have been discovered by Hitachi sailors, the UFO, as many claim, was made of steel and glass and supposedly only big enough to fit one small person. And inside the craft, sailors reportedly found strange scripts that they were unable to decipher. So between that, the woman who couldn't speak the language, and just the general look of the thing, it could very well have been an alien UFO. Raman Manuel. Chicago Mayor Raman Manuel may be a shapeshifter reptile. 
I'll let you decide. In September 2012, during a press conference, viewers noticed that his eyes seemed to transform into, well, I'm not quite sure I know how to describe this because it's terrifying. <laughs> Around his eyes, we see darkness of some sort and suddenly his actual eyes become enlarged. Honestly, whatever happened wasn't human. <laughs> Did he reveal himself as a shapeshifter reptile? I'm thinking yes. If you're enjoying this video so far, smash that like button as it'll really help us out. In our number nine spot, we have Timothy Geithner. Former secretary to the treasurer, Timothy Geithner, has been accused of being a shapeshifter. Why? Well, because there's some weird footage of him possibly doing just that. Footage was taken of him at a press conference sitting and listening to the speaker when all of a sudden, something starts happening to his right eye. A weird pattern pattern that honestly looks like a pattern that you would see on a butterfly wing starts to form around his eye, sort of cupping it. It seems that it happens for a few seconds before he realizes it and tries to cover it up by touching the area and in an instant, it's gone. No one can deny that the footage is rather odd, especially as he touches the area and poof. It's magically gone. It is super possible that we have a butterfly shapeshifter on our hands. Imagine. <laughs> if I could be a shapeshifter, that's what I would want to be. Something with wings. Probably a fairy. That would be great. In our number eight spot, we have US General David Petruis. On June 15, 2010, the US General David Petruis appeared to faint during a conference, but at one point, though, his face appeared to be, well, not human. Human. The footage of this one does appear to be a tad blurry, but it does seem like something has happened to his face. His face looks like it's you know deformed, and the person that was looking at him and talking before he fainted did look a tad scared. But it could have been because he could see something was wrong. So there's that. But also, at one point, somebody stood up and conveniently blocked the camera from seeing him. So that's sus. But honestly, the footage for this one is too blurry for me to say yeah, probs are reptiles. But the people that filmed it and shared it definitely said that they saw something that day and it did not look human. In our number seven spot, we have Lady Gaga. Okay, Lady Gaga is an interesting one because there is a video that seemingly shows something going on with her eyes, but also she literally said on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert that she, quote, has always liked to shapeshift. Very sus, Gaga. The viewers of the show thought that it was a very interesting choice of words, and so many thought that there was a bit of truth to what she said, as if the energy around the word held more weight. I don't know. Certainly there are so many people that believe that Lady Gaga has had contact with the devil, and so it would make sense if she was a shapeshifter. Remember that time she suspended something in the air with her magical force field? <laughs> okay, but for real, is she a magical devil-like being? or a shapeshifter? Would love to know your vote in the comment section below. <laughs> in our number six spot, we have Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle, actress turned literal princess when she married Prince Harry, has had quite some speculation around her over being a robot. <laughs> Now I've heard many things, including reptilian, and some people believe something has just, you know, replaced her. But the robot shapeshifter is an interesting theory. It started when a clip went viral over Harry and Meghan wearing masks to promote Madame Tussauds' new Harry and Meghan edition. But what made everyone feel the creeps is not just the fact that their facial expressions are unsettling, but also because Meghan is not blinking. Terrifying. Whereas Harry apparently was. Anyways, I think that this got everyone to start theorizing that even though this is a mask, she may actually be a shapeshifter robot, and you know what? I don't blame them. <laughs> We're probs living in iRobot and don't even know it. In our number five spot, we have President Bush. Now, this is a clip of Papa Bush, the 41st president of the US, speaking in an interview, and his eyes seem to change. For those of you who don't live in North America, uh, there is a George Bush senior and junior, and they both became president of the US. Anyways, this clip is of George senior, aka Papa Bush, and most people are in agreement that he is absolutely 
absolutely a reptilian. I mean, at this point, I'm starting to be convinced that all the politicians are, but who knows? Maybe the whole world is. Maybe I am. Honestly, I wish I could shapeshift. Then I would just shapeshift myself into a passenger that has a ticket to board a flight to Paris and peace out of here. You know what I mean? Anyways, in this clip, his eyes definitely form into slits, and there's no doubt that if this clip is real, and so many say that it is, then, you know, he's definitely not human. And at number four spot, we have Eileen Wernos. Eileen Wernos, who is known as an American serial killer, did a number of interviews before she was executed on October 9th, 2002. During a number number of her interviews, people claimed to have seen some weird shape shifting happening. This is a clip of an interview that she did where her eyes appeared to show that infamous reptile slit. You know, there are so many people that believe that sometimes shapeshifters are responsible for some of the worst crimes in the world, and then they just, you know, shapeshift out of prison afterwards after taking over the body of humans. That's definitely an interesting theory. I mean, regardless, clearly Eileen was evil, so even if she She's not a shapeshifter. I'm sure someone could make a case for her being possessed by a demon. In our number three spot, we have Reptile Woman. This woman has been dubbed Reptile Woman for pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> the footage that was taken of this mystery woman surfaced online and was apparently not altered in any way. The footage seems quite normal until it's broken down frame by frame, and suddenly it's as if you see a different person. Her hands look different, her back, her face, and her eyes. It's fascinating. I I personally wish the footage was easier to see as it's not fully convincing me looking at something so blurry. It just makes me feel like it's been altered, but who knows, I may be wrong. And it sure seems like a lot of people believe that it's real. There have been a few people that have tried to debunk it and truly I think I'm with them on their analysis. This one is too blurry for me to think that it's possibly real, but whatever, it might be. In our number two spot we have M.W. Jeffrey Black Hodgson. Let's call him Jeff. You know, for short. <laughs> so Jeff is the grand master of the Masons in Massachusetts. Yeah, if you don't know anything about the Masons, then definitely have a Google sesh later tonight. That's a whole other rabbit hole in itself. But yeah, if you know anything about the Masons, then you probably won't be surprised that they are on this list. The grand master, the big guy calling the shots, is in this video, and he certainly shows signs of being a shapeshifter. From his eyes suddenly showing slits to his skin apparently showing evidence, there are a lot of people that believe that this guy is a shapeshifter. And in our number one spot, we have Britney Spears. Okay, this one I refuse to believe is real because I love her. God, I do not want to believe it, but the footage certainly makes you think that it's possible that she's a shapeshifter or that a shapeshifter at some point had taken over her body. That to me would check out more when you think of everything that she has been fighting for recently in terms of her freedom and gaining full control of her body back again. Who knows? Perhaps there is way more to it than we can imagine. I just love her though, so I refuse to believe that she was born a reptile. Anyway, Anyways, in this shot, her eyes seemingly show slits at times, just like a lot of the other footage that we've shown, and this would point to some kind of reptile living within her. Nita experiment, the scientific discovery that proves the existence of parallel universes. Now, okay, this one isn't technically aliens per se, but I wanted to mention it first because not only is it real, but come on, what's more exciting, extraterrestrial visitors or extra dimensional ones? Huh? Huh? Imagine a remote research station in Antarctica where scientists diligently hunt for cosmic rays. Now that's intriguing on its own, but it gets even better. See, naturally they had their instruments facing the sky, but then these researchers suddenly detect not one, but two signals shooting out of the ground beneath them, defying all logic. See, these rays of neutrinos are supposed to come from supernova, so it's highly improbable that the rays are passing through the Earth without coming into contact with a single particle of matter, only to land on a tiny weather balloon in the sky. To make sense of this, scientists dived into over 40 papers offering a buffet of explanations. Dark matter, elusive particles called sterile neutrinos, neutrinos, and then, the grandest of them all, a parallel universe, essentially a mirror image of ours, but where time runs backwards. Imagine that! This audacious idea isn't pull out of thin air either, it's rooted in actual science, a theorem which hints that alongside our universe, an antimatter universe stretches backward through time before the Big Bang.
thing. But let's tap the brakes here, because a more down-to-earth theory has surfaced. That's right, hold your antimatter horses, because it turns out it's more likely that these signals were simply reflected off of ice or skipped off subglacial lakes. The truth, it seems, is more grounded, reflecting high-energy particles, not parallel dimensions. Sorry, y'all. I mean, unless you want to go ahead and put away Occam's razor. But before I do, if you're enjoying the video so far, you can support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. At number 9, Alien Fossils. Back in 1996, NASA dropped a bombshell. Well, not literally. They stumbled upon a meteorite from Mars right there on our very own Antarctica. This space wanderer, a potato-shaped piece of Martian real estate, harbored something truly astonishing, a fossilized microbe. That's like finding a cosmic postcard in your backyard. This meteorite most likely embarked on a 15 million year journey across our solar si across our solar neighborhood before cozying up on Earth. Now, let's dig deeper. The rock didn't just bring this Martian visitor, it also packed organic molecules. But before we declare aliens, bear in mind that there are on that this is an ongoing debate in the scientific arena. Some argue that this is a smoking pew pew of extraterrestrial existence, while skeptics keep their feet firmly on Earth. What's your take on this otherworldly puzzle? At number 8 is the frozen ancient civilization. Enter Cory Goode, a name synonymous with the clandestine narrative that spirals deep beneath the Antarctic ice. The year was 2017 when Goode's voice resonated through the annals of conspiratorial discourse, asserting that a buried treasure lay beneath two miles of frigid ice, an ancient alien civilization frozen in time. But let's rewind to 1939, a German expedition that allegedly stumbled upon this enigma. Fast forward to 2002, and the site begrudging opened its icy gate to scientists and archaeologists. What's captivating is Goad's own voyage facilitated by the US Air Force to witness the fabled civilization. A civilization that was purport that was rumored to be standing 55,000 years in Earth's past. This story leaves us yearning for forthcoming years to yield more insights into these Antarctic enigmas. At number 7, the Antarctic Pyramids. In 2016, rumors of pyramid-like mountains circulated the internet, capturing the imaginations of many. Could it be a creation of ancient civilizations, or perhaps... Cue the dramatic pause. Evidence of ancient extraterrestrial intervention. This square-based pyramid is perched upon the Ellsworth Range, standing around 4,000 feet tall. That's like 10 times the size of the pyramids of Giza. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Or should I say, tip of the pyramid? Reports of plant and bacterial life dating back eons also have come to light, suggesting that maybe, just maybe, a prehistoric, or should I say pre-human society once grazed this frigid expanse, crafting not only pyramids, but also tending to the vegetation. BAM! Proof of ancient aliens. Or just a neat geological formation. I'll let y'all decide in the comments. At number 6, Admiral Byrd's Crystal City. Esteemed US Naval Officer Admiral Byrd, Admiral Richard Byrd was one of the first pilots to fly over both poles, or Organizing Operation High Jump, the largest expedition to ever travel to Antarctica with all kinds of ships, aircraft, and crew in order to scout locations for potential military bases. But during his explorations, Admiral, Admiral Byrd allegedly came upon something highly unexpected. The following comes not from a public account, but from his own diary discovered by his son after Byrd's passing, in which he recounts an extraordinary discovery. Upon encountering a large cave in the South Pole through which he could easily fly his plane, Byrd steers his plane into the opening and flew underneath the earth. As he flies within the massive cave, he encroaches upon an incredibly temperate and lush environment. Not something you'd expect in the South Pole, but that's just the beginning. He tells about how he sees a shimmering rainbow city made out of crystal. Suddenly he loses control of his plane as flying disc shaped objects lead him to the ground, whereupon he's escorted to a being which he refers to as the master in his diary, who tells Bird that it's massively disappointed with nuclear weapons and how they've recently destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, seeming to really be concerned with what's going on on the surface, telling Bird that these aliens hope humanity will ultimately stop this. At number 5, a UFO is discovered. In October of 2020, satellite images of Antarctica unveiled a peculiar sight. Amidst the icy expanse, an object resembling a semi-circular flying saucer emerged, slightly elevated and casting a telltale shadow. Believed by some to be an ancient aircraft dating back thousands if not millions of years. The notion of aliens opting for this secluded spot brims with intrigue. However, however, before we leap into intergalactic conclusions, it's essential that we exercise caution. While this image sparks conjecture, we all 
we do lack conclusive evidence about its origin or purpose. At number four is the alien base. If this next story is to be believed, there's allegedly a secret alien base with advanced and unconventional weapons hidden in the icy waters of the Antarctic. According to a video uploaded by UFO hunters, a mysterious anomaly about 180 kilometers off the coast of Antarctica has been spotted. They speculate that it's not just some kind of hangar or a, for a spaceship, but that actual aliens might be residing there too. Now this may veer toward the conspiracy side rather than urban legend, but hey, it's all in good fun. Some believers are advocating for an expedition to confirm the existence of these aliens, while others voice concerns about potentially sparking an intergalactic war if we're not careful. So whatever it is, let's just hope we tread carefully. At number three, the Kraken. The Kraken is a legendary maritime menace straight from the annals of Scandinavian folklore, a colossal cephalopod-like creature feared for its ship-swallowing antics and sailor-dragging tendencies. But could this creature of nautical nightmares actually be an alien? Yeah, you heard me right. A Reddit user named Bavin Hunter has set their investigative sights on Google Earth, claiming that they spot what appears to be a Kraken near Deception Island in Antarctica. Quite the ironic location, I must say. They suggest that this dark spot lurking in the depths might just be this mystical monster. Granted, we've got some real-life cephalopods that can stir the imagination, but they're not exactly kraken sized Or maybe it's a cryptic alien being lurking beneath the icy depths. At number two, alien DNA. Traces of potential alien DNA were discovered in the Antarctic, a mind-boggling revelation that recently shook the scientific community regarding DNA traces found beyond the depths of certain Antarctic caverns. Algae DNA intertwined with fragments from minute creatures paints a picture of potential alien origin. Though no immediate creatures were unearthed, this discovery opens portals to speculation. Could Antarctica, once deemed a barren expanse, have teemed with diverse life forms? For a life here are akin to an extraterrestrial habitat, hinting at hidden chambers harboring unexpected life. Warmth emanating from beneath the icy veneer adds to the intrigue, making it plausible for life to have happened to have gained a foothold here. At number one is the crashed UFO on Google Maps. In the realm of mysterious Antarctic enigmas, 2019 incident lit the extraterrestrial fuse. Enter Scott C. Waring, a fevering UFO, a fevering UFO enthusiast who, armed with Google Maps, embarked on a digital Antarctic odyssey. His pixelated gaze locked onto a triangular UFO ensnared within the icy clutches. With a distinctive hump and formidable edges, this alien ridge, should the thought unshackle this craft, could we witness an eerie revival of extraterrestrial occupants? This UFO trapped in icy stasis awaits a tangible inquiry, as its revelation could potentially reshape our cosmic worldview. So as we peel back the layers of ice and venture deeper into Antarctic's hidden past, we're left with a trove of unsolved puzzles. Are these clues pointing to the extraterrestrial visitors, or are they simply the product of natural phenomena that we've yet to fully comprehend? The allure of the unknown keeps, the, keeps us asking questions, keeps us searching for that flicker of insight that might illuminate the truth. And whether you find yourself firmly grounded in skepticism or ready to embrace the possibility of otherworldly contact, one thing is for sure, the Antarctic holds its secrets close. 10th spot is the late Queen Elizabeth II. So it's no secret that there are quite a lot of people out there who are not fans of the royal family. And while for some it might just be about an overall lack of likeness towards the monarchy, there are many out there whose hatred stems from a deep-seated belief that everyone in the royal family are in fact shape-shifting lizard people. This all started from some footage that was found online of the queen where some particularly strange eyes seem to appear out of nowhere. In the video, the queen is standing at what appears to be a game of sorts, and then all of a sudden her eyes change to look almost like some sort of crazy demon. Immediately people were freaked and jumped to the conclusion that it was because she was a shape-shifting lizard. But others blew it off as just her having bloodshot eyes. Now listen, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a bloodshot eye that was completely black before. I'm just saying. As you can imagine, this footage did not help the royal family's rep of being from the constellation Draco and only further cemented the belief that they are all evil lizards. What do you think? Coming in at number 9 is K2. 
Katy Perry. So here's the thing about lizard people. They tend to be exclusively pinned on celebrities. Now there is some reasoning behind this. It's because the shapeshifters are supposed to be evil and so they take over the bodies of celebrities or leaders in order to be able to have the power to wreak havoc on our world. One of the celebs that people swear is a lizard is none other than Miss Teenage Dream herself, Katy Perry. The footage that brought her into this world comes from an interview she did years ago where for just a millisecond it appears like her eyes change color from a sort of blue to green and just for a second it looks like her pupils turn into slits. Oh, I should mention that apparently a calling card of these lizard people is that they have green eyes. So her eyes supposedly changing to green was seen as proof of her real lizard self peeking through. Suspicious? You tell me. Next up at number 8 is Rihanna. I refuse to believe that Rivi could be an evil reptile alien sent here to wreak havoc and cause evil because number one, she's like the chillest human ever and two, I mean she's Rihanna so I, I don't want it to be true. But it looks like even the good ones aren't safe according to believers of the lizard people. The proof comes from some kind of sus footage from what looks like a live talk show or something and even though it's a bit blurry it does look like there's something weird going on. If you pay close attention, it does appear that her eyes turn into slits for just a millisecond before turning back to normal. I mean, should we be worried? Could she really be a lizard person? I mean, even if she was, she would easily be the most beautiful lizard person I've ever seen, so <laughs> at least there's that. Coming in at number 7 is Angelina Jolie. From what I have come to understand about the conspiracy race of the shape-shifting reptiles that walk the earth with us is that more often than not, it is the eyes that give them away. Maybe their eyes are the hardest to control, shape shifting wise? I'm not totally sure to be honest, but either way, there are definitely some strange videos out there with some weird things going on in the eyeball region. One of these videos is of a lister, Angelina Jolie. In this particular interview, you can see she's blinking her eyes a ton, which you might not think much of, but when you zoom in really tight and slow down the footage, you can see that there is a half a millisecond where it looks like her pupils elongate into slits before snapping right back into normal. My question is, does the blinking have anything to do with the trying to control their eyes from changing? Again, I have no clue what's true and have no facts to back that up, but the video is for sure a little strange. Next up at number 6 is Shakira. Once again, another pop princess with the voice of an angel has been accused of being one of the evil lizard people sent to destroy the planet. The clip that caused the uproar is from an interview a few years ago where, yep, you guessed it, her eyes slightly change shape for a millisecond. For starters, her eyes are already quite dark so it's a little hard to tell at first, but when the video gets slowed down and you zoom in, I will admit I can kind of see where people are going with the whole eyes changing thing. There is a moment where it does kind of look like her pupils shift into a thinner shape and dare I say the iris kind of goes more coppery? Is that a sign? I honestly, I have no idea. Truth be told, it might not be quite as obvious as some of the other ones on the list, but nonetheless, there are many out there that insist she is among the shapeshifters. Apparently it's not just her hips that don't lie, but her eyes too. Coming in at number 5 is Lady Gaga. Okay, let me make one thing very clear. I'm a huge fan of Lady Gaga. Like, huge. I think she's an amazing artist and just a super badass person. All of that being said, I am fully aware that many people think she's a total weirdo and like, if lizard people did turn out to be real, I could see why people would suspect Gaga to be one. I mean, if anything, what is more camp than being a shape-shifting reptile masquerading as a human, right? The main clip that brought Gaga into the suspect list of shapeshifters was from a live interview several years back and just like almost every alleged lizard person, the clues were in her eyes. Now first off, her eye makeup is gorgeous, but if you peer a little deeper into those eyes, you might notice something kinda looks off. She looks down for a second, blinks her eyes, and then just ever so slightly you can see that it looks like her pupils change shape and get slightly thinner for a second. Then boom, back to normal. Also she did once say in an interview that she has always loved to shape shift. I mean, she was talking about her hair and makeup, but was it a clue? Is this solid proof she's a lizard person from the constellation of Draco? I guess it depends on who you ask. Next up at number four is Isaiah Carey. 
several years back in 1995, there was a reporter for NBC who became an overnight sensation after a hilarious video of him swallowing a grasshopper aired during a live broadcast. People kind of fell in love with him because he had such a huge reaction and totally switched up his entire demeanor after he accidentally swallowed the bug. However, not too long after, some people noticed something was a little off about the video and some even started to wonder if swallowing the bug was an accident at all. What's strange about this video is that if you pay close enough attention, kind of looks like his tongue is actually aiming for the bug, just like a frog reaching for a fly. Not to mention, he has quite a big tongue compared to most people and it kind of looks a little pointy. Either way, after he swallows the bug, he immediately turns away from the camera and some have suggested this is to hide any further evidence that he was actively shape-shifting at the time. But also, I would probably turn away from a camera if a bug flew into my mouth without warning too. I don't know man, either way the video is hilarious so let me know what you think, evil reptile or funny human? Coming in at number 3 is a mysterious creature. So this video is definitely one of the weirder ones on this list cause like actually what the heck is happening. Inside what appears to be some sort of cave, a pair of glowing orb eyeball things peek out from behind the wall. But when whoever is actually holding the camera advances on them, they quickly retreat back behind the wall. Like, not gonna lie, it's kind of creepy. The creature then continues to peek out to see if the cameraman is gone before stepping out completely, showing its unnerving form, and then suddenly bolting away deeper into the cave, never to be seen again. Now, the real question, of course, what is it? Is it a shapeshifter? A weird alien? Some other weird thing we have never heard of or seen before? I mean, all I know is I would not want to see that alone in a dark cave by myself. I just have a bad feeling it would kill me and eat my flesh. I'm just saying. Coming in at number two, a security guard. It goes without saying that presidents are not going to really go anywhere without their security guards. But what do we really know about their security? And if there is reason to believe that politicians themselves are a part of the alien lizard race, then wouldn't it make sense that their protection would be too? Well, speaking of, back in 2012, during a speech made by President Obama, footage of the audience captured a peculiar looking security guard in the crowd. At first glance, you might think it's just like a pale, bald dude standing there, but when they pan to the side, it straight up looks like he has no ears. I mean, what is going on here? It's giving Voldemort, if you ask me. Even weirder is when the video zooms in, if you really pay attention, it kind of looks like his head is pulsating. Which, truth be told, I have no clue what that could be about, but lots of people have come forward saying it's definitely footage of him shape-shifting right before our eyes. I mean, would that mean that everyone in the CIA is a lizard person or just a select few? I want to know how it's decided what people get taken over by the alien lizard overlords. What is their system is all. I'm just wondering. And last up today in our number one spot is Timothy Geithner. As I mentioned, it's not just A-list movie star celebs that have been accused of being a part of the lizard race taking over mankind. Among some of the most accused are politicians and even the staff that work under them. Former Secretary of the Treasury under President Obama's presidency is among one of those that some have come to believe is a dangerous lizard person hiding behind the face of a human man. The clip that raised some eyebrows and added him into the long list of potential involved personnel came from some kind of speech and it definitely is very odd. Unlike most of the others on this list, it wasn't his eyes that had people questioning him, but the skin surrounding them. For a moment in the video, it looks like Timothy shifts into his reptile form and the scales begin to show through the skin around his eyes, until suddenly he touches his face and it magically disappears. Like, could this be faked? <laughs> I mean, of course it could, it's the internet. But like, was it? 
Or is it just a really super creepy video proving an alien race of lizard people? You tell me, man. We won on a military base in 29 Palms, California. After the release of the photograph, multiple Marines came forward to confirm the existence of an aircraft, seeing that while the photo showcases only the triangle-shaped formation of bright lights, in person the men were able to make out the black body of the aircraft as well. The unidentified flying object is said to have hovered for 10 minutes in the air before it suddenly vanished without any trace. The men were able to rule out flares for being the cause of the mysterious lights, but were never able to figure out exactly what they saw that night. However, it appears the footage has not been taken lightly as the Pentagon has started an investigation into just what exactly was seen on the night of April 20th of 2021 in the skies above the 29 Bombs military base. Next up, we have a series of photographs taken by cosmonaut Ivan Vanger in August of 2020 whilst aboard the International Space Station that appears to depict five unidentified flying objects flying at the same speed while maintaining the same distance between each other as well as their surroundings, moving in a straight line just above the Earth's curved horizon visible in the night sky. Vanguard, both surprised and curious, took to Twitter, now named X, to share the footage in hopes of getting some clarity as to exactly what he was looking at. In an exciting unfolding of events, his tweet was picked up by the Russian space agency Roscosmos, and a spokesperson revealed that experts were in fact studying the video in an attempt to determine what exactly Vanguard had managed to capture. Did you guys know that Japan was a major hotbed for UFO activity? Because I didn't. But apparently the Pentagon does? In fact, UFO sightings are so common in Japan that its military has reportedly ordered all pilots to disclose any and all identified flying objects directly to the Japanese government. Not only that, but Japanese self-defense forces have also undergone extensive training in relation to UFO sighting protocol. To date, six alleged encounters between pilots pilots and UFOs have been reported to the Japanese government, one of which was recorded, and depicts 10 white circular balls flying through the skies of Osaka in Japan. While the government has yet to publicly comment on any of the incidents, the update of self-defense protocol alone is pretty telling. The next image was shared by a pretty reputable source, National Geographic. The image was captured by Sergio Loaiza on September 4th of 1971 during an aerial survey of Lake Kote. Everything seemed pretty normal until the photos were taken back to Loaiza's development lab where he noticed something very strange. A metallic flying aircraft, estimated to have a diameter of 160 feet, was located in the corner of one of the photographs. When he presented the photos to his superiors at the National Geographic Institute, they shut him down quick, forbidding Sergio as well as his colleagues from sharing any information of what they had seen that day. In 1979, however, the photograph was leaked, and the object that appeared in the image was officially classified as an unidentified flying object. In 2021, the existence of the object was again confirmed after the original copy of the photograph was scanned and it was revealed that the UFO's presence was more than just a scratch on the lens or a piece of dust in the wind. So what do you think it was? Let us know in the comments. Next up we have footage that comes to us straight from the declassifieds. Remember how I told you at the beginning of the video that the government quite literally copped to the fact that they have been hiding the existence of UFOs for years? Well, they did and they came with receipts. On the 15th of January in 2023, while surveilling an MQ-9 Reaper aircraft, an unidentified aerial presence was captured moving at speeds unreachable by any of Earth's modern day technological advances. Not only this, but as the object whizzed through the field of view of the camera lens, it appeared to leave behind an atmospheric wake before disappearing completely into the sky. Guys, if you have any, please leave your UFO and alien stories in the comments. I would love to hear about your experiences with any of these kind of things. Next up, we have arguably the most beautiful alien assuming photograph I have ever seen. The photo was taken in 2004 by a retired Royal Air Force officer while on vacation in Sri Lanka. The site was described is some kind of colorful giant donut in the sky with hues of oranges, pinks, purples, and whites. After its capture, the photograph was turned into the Royal Air Force Flying Dales Base in North Yorkshire in England, where it became a classified document held by the Ministry of Defense. The image has since been declassified, of course, and is now available for public viewing, but there is still a lot of mystery surrounding the photo as well as the photographer, as his identity, along with any other information regarding 
the incident is pretty much non-existent. I mean, come on, it's a giant glowing light in the sky. You're really telling me no one else saw this and that there's no other information out there other than the fact that the photo exists? Oh, yeah, and not only that, but it was deemed classified by the British Ministry of Defense, so I'm thinking there's something else going on here. Okay, I bet you didn't know that another major hotbed for extraterrestrial UFO and unidentified aerial phenomenon activity was Brazil. I mean, I did, but maybe you didn't. In fact, this kind of thing is so popular in Brazil that they have an annual day of recognition for these sightings known as the Night of the UFO, which came to be after a major event took place in 1986. On the night of May 19th, a series of unidentified flying objects were seen in the skies of Brazil, and even more non-visual objects were detected via radar across the skies of four Brazilian states. Of course, at this time, any and all knowledge the government had on the event was extremely classified. In May of 2012, however, Brazil's Freedom of Information Act went into place, after which the public demanded the release of all the documents relating to the incident. The government complied, and not only released written documents of the events, but also a series of photographs depicting strange activity within the skies above Brazil. Although the images of what appeared to be nothing more than squiggles and clouds of smoke didn't provide much clarity, a statement made by the Minister of Aeronautics did. He said, This command is of the opinion that the phenomena are solid, and reflect, in a certain way, intelligence, due to the ability to follow and maintain a distance from observers, as well as to fly information. After this statement was made, the Brazilian government has still not been able to confirm exactly what took place the day the night of the UFOs was born. Next, we have a photo taken in 1990 by two Scottish chefs who were working in a hotel near the area in which the photograph was taken. After a long day of work, it appears the two men had decided to take a hike in an attempt to blow off some steam. While this walk wouldn't end up being incredibly relaxing, it would be wildly exciting as not long after the two men had set off on their journey along the Calvine Scottish countryside, they noticed something hovering above them in the sky. The object was not one that either of the men could identify and so they pulled out their cameras in an attempt to document the 100-foot flying aircraft instead. The photos, which have been analyzed and show no signs of manipulation, capture the object being circled by a jet plane. They thought the incident was incredibly strange and even newsworthy, so the two turned the footage over to the local newspaper for publication. But the images were seized by the British Ministry of Defense and were never released. Until 32 years later, that is, by David Clark, who, unbeknownst to the ministry, had kept a photocopy of one of the original images. The identity of the two men was never revealed, nor did they ever come forward to share their story after the images had been seized by the ministry, begging the question of what exactly they saw and what exactly the government was trying to cover up. A photograph taken of an unidentified aircraft lit up by military spotlights in Los Angeles, California is next on the list. The photograph, which documents an event so big, it later became referred to as the Battle of Los Angeles or the Great Los Angeles Air Raid was taken on February 23rd of 1942, just two months after the attack on Pearl Harbor. On the night the photo was taken, all of Los Angeles was under blackout, as directed by the US military. While the lights on the ground had been turned off, the sky above had been lit up by a myriad of strange objects. The military opened fire, and onlookers stood absolutely stunned as 1,400 rounds of ammunition appeared to have no effect on the unidentified flying object. Smoke filled the sky, and when it cleared, not a single craft was to be found in the sky or on the ground. Shrapnel that appeared to have ricocheted off the target resulted in the death of five civilians. Furthermore, three were killed in car accidents due to the chaos of the event, and two more of heart attacks due to the stress of the two-hour-long attack. And finally, we have a handful of screen grabs from a video taken by Lieutenant Commander Alex Dietrich whilst flying an 18F Super Hornet fighter jet over the Pacific Ocean near San Diego during a training mission for the United States Navy. The footage, taken in November of 2004, was captured after Dietrich was asked to investigate a suspicious object that had been seen dropping from 80,000 feet down to the surface of the ocean and then vanishing. When Alex and their colleague arrived on the scene, the ocean surface, where the object had been reported, appeared as though it was boiling. Moments after arriving to investigate, a strange, elongated white object came into view 
and was captured on video hovering above the water before it disappeared into the sky at an impossible speed, leaving no wake in the oceans below. While the footage has been confirmed to be authentic by the United States Department of Defense, the object itself, along with its origins, remains a mystery. Want to see more videos like this one? Check out this video next. It's about aliens that were caught escaping Area 51 that were caught on camera. Click the video now to find out more. We'll see you guys in the next video.